Welcome to my island, Hihifo Ha'apai. Ha'apai is one of the most old school places. Life literally slows down to half speed here. As you can see, shops and supplies are limited, so when coming here, it's best to be prepared as possible. One of the first things I pack is a fully stocked first aid kit. But if you do happen to get sick and you don't have a first aid kit, then there's some traditional Tongan medicines that my cousin Vera is gonna show us. Yep. And tutu uri is if you have a langa kete, where you fuck a lele, which means uh, you've got the runs, mm. which is very, very common here in Tonga. Mm. <laughs> you got to scrape the bark away, you grate it down, yeah. and that you put into a piece of material, mm. you add some water, squeeze the liquid out. Mm. So if you've got the runs and you've got a sore tummy, this is what you drink. Um, I'm good, I, I don't need it right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the leaves of the tutu uri, are also used for sore teeth, and you just give that a bit of a chew. Don't swallow. So this is the pawpaw tree, and this is the young pawpaw fruit. Seeds that you usually see with the ripe fruit are black, but these are just the younger versions. You just have to swallow a few of these seeds to fix that sore tummy. Also, the lessi fruit, if you poke it, can you see the white sap running down? You put that on your skin if you've been bit by a mosquito, and that will stop the itch. The nonal tree is renowned for its medicinal purposes and is found in everyone's backyard. Both the leaves and the fruit, ripe and rotten, are used. Okay. Mm. Oh, that smells awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <awful. laughs> wow. There are lots of different ways to prepare and use the nonal plant. Here's a couple of them. First of all, we're going to start with the smaller leaves. These ones are aikeha. If your baby, your young child has a sore tummy, then you can crush up these leaves, <laughs> pop them in a piece yeah. of material, mm. a little bit of water. Mm. You just squeeze it in the baby's mouth and that should stop them from having a sore tummy. If you have any mouth infections, uh, rotten teeth, stinky breath, then this nonal mixture is for you. You add the big noni leaves with buhi leaves. Add a small amount of water, just a tiny bit of water. Usually if you chew it, the saliva uh, is enough, so you don't need to add any water. So you just mix it up. <laughs> oh, my lot, Vito, eh? my lot. Like that. She's a professional. So this makes the best natural Tongan body scrub ever. We've got bako, the tuitui nut, and mohokoi leaves. <laughs> you chew it mm. all together. Mm. It's, it smells beautiful. It's got like a nutty, perfumey smell. There you have it. I'm going to go have a shower and use this beautiful smelling natural body wash. So, Malovia.